Oh, just, I didn't get any sleep last night. I was just tossing and turning, trying to visualize the course and everything, and that didn't do any good because it completely changed. Well, this is my second year, my husband's second year, so it's nerve-wracking. The drivers, they come here very good-hearted until the, the morning they get here, and it doesn't matter if they've been here or not. They nerve up, they get tight. You're here with the best of the best. It's tough. If you make it here, you've gone a long ways, but uh, you still have a long ways to go before the day is over. You know what? I don't come out here for the money. I come out here to test my skills as a driver because that's what I do every day. And uh, I like to know exactly what I'm doing out there on the road. So if I can come to some competition like this and test my everyday skills then, and do really well, then I feel like I've accomplished something. Well, it's the benchmarking between the companies, uh, the safety directors and the drivers as well. Uh, they, uh, it's basically a promotion of safety. We're doing everything we can to make our drivers safe and attentive while on the road and makes it safe for everybody. During the very, very first uh, safety and skills competition, when at that time was called the rodeo, it was a rainy, cloudy morning with about maybe 80 or 100 people. Your number one uh, people uh, had really disbelief that this couldn't be pulled off. Six years ago, the safety directors for the concrete industries in the state of Florida decided they wanted to do something special for both the companies for recognition, for the drivers to be able to be recognized for their companies. We probably doubled since first year, six years ago, as far as participation for the uh, concrete companies being involved in the event. We've also, originally it was set up for just ready mix drivers, and we've enlarged it to payloader or fork front end loader operators, forklift operators, and the mechanics in the state. Well, today we have the front end loader competition, the forklift, uh, as well as the ready mix and the uh, preventive maintenance uh, competition. There's a committee of about 12 people that starts this thing off at the, at the Florida Concrete Products headquarters. The planning is a, it's a year, believe it or not, it's a year in the making. Uh, the Florida Concrete Products Association, the Safety Committee, uh, devotes uh, numerous meetings throughout the years uh, uh, to coordinate this event and make it go off without any hitches. It's been very successful so far. It's a full-time job. You need more sponsorship to where you make it bigger and better every year. Sponsorship is very important to us. Without it, this function does not happen. <laughs> The serpentine was really, really difficult, as you can see what's happening behind us. The parallel parking was really tough. Other than that, the rest of it was pretty self-explanatory, what we normally do from day to day when we're driving down the road. There's three events in the Ready Mix Drivers competition. They'll be doing a road course, a driving course, a written test, and a pre-trip inspection to check for, for things wrong with a truck and the DOT inspection. On the written test, we have approximately 50 questions that are concrete industry related, some quality control questions, and majority of it's DOT regulations and uh, company policy on how to handle certain things that happen in the field for this industry. Portland uh, guys, out, they come out here and they uh, practice sitting a pallet down in a, in a certain area, coming close to an object without hitting an object. They, uh, it's, it's all about safety. Your front end loaders, they come out here, they go around a serpentine where they get the feel of the loader. They do a, a front stop line, they do a back stop line, they parallel park the loader to where they understand how close they are to something. And they also do uh, something we got new this year as a ball drop to see how accurate their aim is from the bucket. This is the mechanic station. They would be looking for, for, for defects that are put in this truck, which would be, so they're actually performing what would be a periodic maintenance inspection, but they've only got 10 minutes to do it. They could look for lights out, they could look for emergency kits gone out of the cab, they could look for brake problems and anything associated with that. So it would be anything preventive maintenance that would you know, possibly cause a truck to not be able to run or get on the road. Just the fact that he's participating, he's probably the best that, that their company has, so that in itself is an accomplishment for that guy just to compete. And if he competes in places, that's even a bigger one. So he can go back knowing that he's one of the best mechanics in the industry. The 
they practice, they train during the year, and they take it very seriously, and they, and they really believe in it. And what they get out of this is practice and a knowledge of their vehicle that's going to keep from having accidents, injuries, or anything happening on the job site. It's sharpening their skills, making them know their truck. So in the long run, that's a driver I don't have to worry about down the road doing anything silly. <laughs> You come to a competition, you're you're here to make your bosses happy. You're here with the best of the best, all the other companies, so you want to try to show and shine. You want to take home the big one. I don't know. I've heard a lot of horror stories, you know, so I just got to do my best. That's all. That's all I can do. I've heard that it's it, it's very difficult, but if you use the skills that you use on the job site, that you should be all right. It's uh, nerve-wracking, very difficult. Safety first, and then everything else is after. You always want to keep safety in mind. We have 10 minutes before we start. Parallel parking, that's your next deal, OK? On parallel parking, you get to pull up to set up, pull in, and pull forward. You don't get the jockey back and forth and back and forth. We measure from the back. If the back of the loader is over the line, you're zero point. One of the keys to remember, I will be running a stopwatch. It is not a time to vent. The only time, the time will come in effect if we have a tie. On the course, they'll be driving through forward with their left tires having to go through tennis balls that are only two inches wider than the wheelbase on the front and back tires. They drive through with their right tires, they back through them again with their left tires. Then they go through a parallel parking where they have 10 foot over the length of the, the vehicle. They have to get into parallel parking without hitting cones and tennis balls. We've got the uh, diminishing alley where the end of the alley is the exact width of the truck at eight feet and it opens to nine and a half feet on the opening. They've got the back end 50 foot alley without striking any tennis balls. They also have the back and front bumper measurements. They're required to pull up to a piece of tape on the ground. We got uh, quite a few things. We're getting adjust to the new stuff was a figure eight, parallel park and then 90 degree figure eight and this barrel is uh, quite a bit different. I did my best and I know I could do better. I feel I did pretty good. Uh, a lot of competition out here today and end results are going to find out just like everyday work though. Well, it was a little difficult. The, uh, the barrels are kind of tight. It's hard to see the front end of the pallet so it's a little bit rough. The lines are kind of hard to see. But, uh, everybody's got to do the same thing so it's going to make it pretty even. <laughs> of course was tough. The written test was easy. It seems to me it's getting tougher every year. Uh, a lot of competition out there. We'll see in the end. For somebody that's not involved in this and sponsoring it, that is an account with a concrete company that's on this course. Um, we very much invite you to join us and make this a more of a success and better for all the, the employees, the owners, and their families. The best of the best compete in the safety and skills competition. There are no losers here. All of the men and women who compete and participate are winners. This competition recognizes and highlights the dedication of employees who work to maintain a safe work environment every day. Good operating techniques, up-to-date technical skills, and pride in the workplace go hand in hand with safer workplaces, job sites, and highways. The true intention of the competition is to prevent accidents and save lives.
If you would like to sponsor, compete, or volunteer for this event, please contact the Florida Concrete and Products Association at 1-800-342-0080.